So my question is, did it, that pseudomonas come from the outside and was filtered into this facility? And what was in place prior to this incident? And then you say you're going back to look at other cases. Within the seven babies that died in 2016, are these all because of pseudomonas? You don't know? And did you need to go back prior to 2016? I, I don't know the cause of death for these seven babies that have passed away associated with our NICU, but that is what we're studying. And then also before we got to this point, this waterborne pseudomonas, do you have any idea where it came from? Is it in the pipes? Was it through the air vent system, the HVAC? What, what do we know about that? The, the best determination we can make from this as we have uh, done the investigation and mapped the plumbing is that it is in the pipes that lead to the, the water system that leads to the NICU. The two babies that died. Has asked the question whether or not the water is safe to drink. We are in constant communication with public health authorities on this topic and we have their reassurances that no changes are necessary to our current water use practice. All available information indicates that it is safe to drink. Additionally, our understanding is the testing of the local water system at incoming sources reflect acceptable safety standards. With that, I'd like to turn it over to uh, Dr. Perkins.